this uh, brings up uh, I've already started the application uh, to show you how I started the application I just uh, uh, did web uh, file new website and uh, created a, a uh, ASP website called uh, test names I selected uh, ASP net website and then I entered the uh, the name of the uh, website I made to be test names and then I just dragged a, a grid to grid view and dragged that over there and that created a grid and then I grabbed a SQL data source and dragged that onto the screen then I configured my data source I right clicked on that smart uh, uh, tag and said new uh, connection I changed this to SQL Server and in the server name I can pull down There weren't. Uh, it wasn't already pre-filled for me, so I went over to discountasp.net and uh, cut and paste this SQL Server name. Selected SQL Server authentication. Then I went back over to discount.net and picked up my username. Cut and paste that. Brought that over here. Typed in my password, and now I'm able to uh, use this drop-down to uh, select my database uh, I, I wasn't use, able to use that drop down so I went back to uh, discountasp.net and select, uh, cut and paste the uh, database name by using control C going back over to my application I enter my database name and now I can test my connection. The test is successful. I click on OK. I click on Next. Click on Next. Now I want to do Advanced so that I can have a I clicked on the asterisk. I've got my table name names. Clicked on advance. I want to generate, update, and delete, and sl uh, select statements. Click on next. You can test the query. See that it comes back. I'm not sure why it didn't have the data. I'll check on that. Okay, that was just some glitch where I didn't save the table uh, well enough over in Discount ASP. So now I have the uh, test query working correctly. Click on Finish. And we want to point the uh, to point to SQL Data Source 1. We've got that. So we're all set there. And then we just uh, start without debugging and this should bring up our application connected to the database and that's how simple it is to connect to a database this is bringing it up on a local machine at this point okay so there's uh, the names forgot to show you that I configured the grid to use uh, edit, delete, and select all. I'll show you that now. Close this down. <clears throat> okay, you select the grid and then over here under properties for the grid you say, um, I'm sorry, you can do, use the smart nav tab 
and then I enable the editing, deleting, and selection on that panel, and that's how, why it had those all set up for us. So that was step seven. We use Visual Web Developer to create an application. Step eight is to uh, copy our website from our local computer over to DiscountASP.net's uh, hosting environment. We use uh, we can do that with FTP or website copy website option in Visual Web Developer. In Visual Web Developer, you click on website, copy website, and then it allows you to connect uh, to your uh, here you just specify your password and it, it uh, it's just an FTP uh, built in to Visual Web Developer that will connect us to the website when it connects it looks like this this is your local computer over here and this is the remote website that you want to FTP your uh, information to. So you select everything. And just say upload. I've already done it once, that's why it has all this information over here. This is that default page that you need to delete uh, before you can actually see your website. So I'm going to rename it. I'm right clicking on it. Uh, I guess I'll delete it. Uh, before I delete it, I'm going to uh, download it uh, to my local page so I can get it back if I need it. Now I can, uh, right click on it and click delete. So, everything is uh, set to uh, go live. Typed in myqualityoflife.com in a browser, and here I am pulling the data set, uh, pulling the information uh, directly from Discount ASP, and I can change it to two, and we have edit capability by what we selected. So we now have a, a website that's connected to a database. I encourage you to create websites to uh, be able to display to people, create a portfolio of websites to be able to display to people the work that you can do when you're trying to uh, uh, show them your abilities so they won't have to guess whether you can do things.